hi hi my beautiful entrepreneurs how are you doing my favorite favorite beautiful people out here how have you been i know that you're keeping warm yeah and i welcome you back if i tell you are a returning subscriber karibu sana thank you for following us thank you for being just an amazing amazing supporter of this channel of this neighborhood of this everything you know uh, this is a YouTube whereby we grow with love, we grow in self-love, we accept who we are, we start all over, we fall, we rise, we start businesses, we thrive, we achieve, you know. So today I'm coming from a different environment. Yes, the bosses are away. So who am I? Being a YouTuber, a blogger, hmm. my friend, every single two seconds that we get, hey, we rush with our phones, with our everything and make videos so karibu nisana if i told you new here kindly like subscribe share my videos you know let me tell you something when you like my videos when you subscribe you help us grow and also it embeters us it helps the youtube also to enable us grow recommend our videos to more uh, to more to more to more viewers so kindly kindly i'm just requesting just to just like and subscribe to my to my channel to our channel so today i just want to do a very short video just in case the boss has forgotten his phone all his uh file and he comes back so i'm just going to do like a small video before any party can pants down so i just want to do a video about uh, we are going to talk about like four or five let me say five side hustles that you can do when you are a full-time employer a, a, a full-time employee four four five side hustles that you can do when you are a full-time employee you know like now myself i'm employed full-time i work from uh, 8 30 up to 5 well technically for 30 <laughs> but official time is up to five and um so it gets a little bit hard that i cannot really start like a full-time job beside my full-time job i hope i'm making sense yeah so two things that you have to consider if at all you are considering to start a side hustle there are two things that you have to consider one is time like what time is involved in you to accomplish your side hustle let's say like maybe selling plots this is something that you can send your brother you can send your husband you can send whomever to go and just take the client there they see the place you know and the client is satisfied so there is so much less time involved maybe when you decide to be selling plots unlike when you decide to start a shop or a, a uber or even buy a matatu it requires so much time you have your involvement is is required so much then there's the other thing that you have to consider is the risk the risk that is involved with starting a side hustle like i'm saying uh, maybe you have decided to open a shop the risk that is involved maybe you have employed somebody that is untrustworthy attack will be that person will strip you down strip you naked then maybe even a matatu Every time you have been called, the car, the car has broken down. The police, they want, I don't know what, I don't know what. So two things to consider is time and the risk that is involved in starting a side hustle. So basically, a side hustle is something that is going to give you an extra income on top of whatever you're earning from your full-time employment class are we together up to that point yes so one of the things that you can start as a height as a side hustle is consultancy i don't know why but uh, for me on my number one list i love consultancy i love consultancy because one it's not time consuming number two it is um number two it is it does not have so much risk number three it's not a day-to-day -day activity it's something that one on one on off this is whereby you are selling your own skills this is whereby you are connecting an employee and an employer you know it does not require so much of your time so it's a it's a very good thing uh, if at all you can start it as a side hustle you just have to market yourself you just have to sell your skills as much as you can you know and before you know it boom it's doing very good for you number two kind of a side hustle that you can start is an investment you can invest in banks you can invest with a with a maybe safaricom you can invest with a with the government you know like now i believe in the government by the time they are returning back the shares that you have bought with them it's coming back with almost 14 percent return 
you can imagine this is just that instead of you having your money lying in the bank instead of you having your money you know tucked somewhere under the mattress you can buy these shares safaricom also they have very nice shares you just have to be very conscious when to buy and when to sell instead of it's a very, actually this one where is the risk number two where is it time consuming because in one or the other you have to remember that uh, your employer requires that you deliver a hundred and one percent you know so you have to strike a balance you're not uh stealing your employer's time and also your job your side hustle is giving you very good returns number three of a side hustle that you can do when you're a full-time employee is online jobs like now for instance myself like now today better part of this week is that uh, the bosses have been away and actually in there between you find like an hour two hours you know and you just sit it on your desk you're just browsing over your facebook and whatever how about this time you consume it into, and again let me tell you something wi-fi it's very free don't tell me about internet but anybody that has a will has to find a way where there is a will there is a way so online type jobs are there typing transcribing uh there's so many things that you can do online jobs we are looking for side hustles not for a full-time thing and again sometimes we report like now myself i clock out at five so you're in the house by maybe around 6 13 take a shower take supper around two around not two around eight around eight up to around ten instead of browsing again to my phone how about i go back into typing maybe i had a paper that i was supposed to accomplish in the next like one hour you know whatever whatever two hours is a lot of time before you know it two dollars thirty dollars i had a dollars in my gear i mean come on guys lazima toji told me number four is a uh, real estate real estate we are talking about whereby maybe you are selling houses you're selling lands not maybe you're selling houses you're selling lands if somebody maybe you have a had a g somewhere lying around how about you invest it in a plot uh give it time you sell it at 150 uh retreat in a 10k 140 rudisha kwa biashara by the time you know it you are doing very much okay in that marketplace and again real estate where is the risk it's not even time consuming it's somebody that is something that you have bought you have done your research you are guaranteed that this land is very genuine and then you just tuck it somewhere you have your title and everything so you just lie in there when the appropriate time comes when it has maybe grown things are going up you know so if i told you in a, you have capital and you're in a position also real estate is that uh you know these are in the neighborhood somebody is renting this house somebody is selling this house uh was up it post post uh, post post uh somebody's selling this house somebody's buying this house you know so look for a connection connect them you can do it after five you can do it via phone so it's very very easy the risk it's very minimum and time it's not time consuming number five maybe i can say the last one is a saving through deposits maybe it could be through banks and it could be through circle when you save via deposit uh fixed deposit accounts be guaranteed you're going to have your returns it comes back with the return you can do it like uh, three months uh then you uh, withdraw roll it over and the best thing is that uh, with a fixed deposit account be it in circles be it in uh, banks it gives you uh, around seven to nine percent of whatever you have invested that's a good amount of money instead of your money just lying there you know when you have to have a side hustle there are things that you have to really consider you have you have to be self-disciplined because you have to satisfy your employer and you also have to satisfy whatever you are selling as your side hustle you have to strike that balance you need to be self-disciplined number two have a long time plan why are you involving yourself in the side hustle because majorly side hustles are more of a, an exit plan an exit plan from being employed and for you to be to be self-reliant to be self-employed so you have to have a long-term plan then the that and the last 
requirement that you have to consider is that uh, you have to consider you have to keep it reevaluating yourself what is working and what is not working if at all it is not working don't strain yourself not all of us actually we are meant to be entrepreneurs you know you drive here i drive there we come together and we complement each other maybe you're supposed to be doing something else know what suits you know that uh, you can do it so long as there is a will there is always a way as long as you put your heart into it and you want to go out for it and you are willing to do it trust you me there is always something for everybody so my dears before my bosses comes back <laughs> let me bring this video to a close yeah and um continue thanking you guys for this fun so just know what suits you where you have a, a heart for and go for it and just know that we are also rooting for you so this that is my video for you guys some of the side hustles that you can take when you are a full-time employer employee employee we also headed to being employers and i wish you all the very best guys so at, if at all you have watched my video up to this end i know that you have liked this video kindly follow kindly like kindly subscribe as we continue on this journey of growing together so from my heart to yours guys thank you for this for just know that i love you and i appreciate you so much and i wish you all the very best out there so until next time bye bye